Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I still have a frog in my throat which makes itself really well known when I get excited, which I'm hoping happens in today's episode. Now, some people probably need uh, upgrading to some extent. Uh, Ed, we should upgrade... I would have liked to have had Holy Lance in the last one. Ash, you probably will get upgraded. These all need upgrading too. Maybe not Grape Shot Blast actually, I may not have wanted that. Also, I'm thinking I should open up Wicked Slice uh, and replace Grape Shot Blast with it. So let's do that. There we go. Uh, then we will pick... I kind of want to do another low-level mission because we've got so many low-level characters. But also, our high-level healer has gone on a drunken bender. So, it happens. You know, don't sweat it. There's a bounty hunter in there. We've got a Brian and a Vague. And we have some things that we can be doing to get ourselves some more of these, apart from, obviously, trading them. Uh, there used to be pictures here. Maybe they've replaced the likelihood of things coming from these. Oh, no, you still get them. Like this, this one here used to be represented here, and now it doesn't tell you anymore. Now, now I was going to say, maybe they've replaced that reward with just this mechanic as well. But it does look like you get more of these from different places here, so. Uh, we could do a short apprentice mission. That seems like a good idea. Explore 90% of rooms. I don't really want to do a medium one. The, uh, the camping meta is kind of cool. Well, the camping, you know, paradigm, the mechanic, is kind of cool, but it, it's not necessarily the, the most entertaining part of the thing. And it also, it does drag out the episode a little bit. So... Plague Doctor. That seems like a good thing to go for, actually. Jester. 2% crit. Stun skill. Which is actually something we use quite a lot, so that wouldn't be too bad. As is this. But that's a medium one. And then there's this, which is a Jester bleed skill chance. So we've got two Jester missions. Also, we already have a Plague Doctor thing, I think. Let's, um... Let's take... Oh, we should take Ash again, actually. Ash did really well. How is Dutch doing? All right, actually, we could take the same set of people, but I'm not going to. Dutch does have rabies, obviously. I mean, why not? It's accuracy, at, but it does more damage. So it's basically you are rabid. <laughs> you're more clumsy and you're more ferocious. Snowlin needs to go in for some treatment, actually. Let's do that. Let's give Snowlin some cheap ass treatment. That's guild. Stop pressing the wrong thing. People are shouting at you in the comments already. Snowlin, go and meditate, weirdo. Literally the only person with uh, a, an amount of stress that I'm concerned about, so that is really, really good. But we should change this up. I, I'm not going, and Ed's not going. We have a brand new bounty hunter, which is good in the second position. Manic for money. So that probably suggests to me that Vague is going to take money from uh, objects. And less crit, but that's okay. But this is pretty good. So, collect bounty is damage versus marked. So anyone that has a mark, like Dutch, or his own mark, I think. There is a mark. 25% damage versus stunned is really good. Oh, and this is good as well. That's a strong bleed. Yes, I like all of these ones. There is a mark. But we can use Dutch's mark, so that's fine. So let's bring Vague along in the third position. And actually, um, we have the, a very good selection of people because the lepers are good in the front position. We have Chop, which is a shitload of damage, but not very accurate. What's this? It's just with food. Interesting. And Killing. Cove or a Clutch Hitter. Purge. Clear corpses and knock something back. So that's pretty good. If there's something at the front that we don't like smacking us up so much, we can get rid of it. This is decent. Stress heal and some protection. So that might be a good start move. Especially after a, a battle that was um, particularly stressful. But you can only hit these two things at the front. Now you can't really attack anything except what's right in front of you. Which is why it's probably good to have this. It clears all corpses and brings the thing at the back to the front. So we're going to have to remember we should be attacking things at the front, even if the things at the back might seem uh, a juicier target and an intimidate. So that's, uh, that's a debuff. 
damage and accuracy. So that's good. It does two things as well. Okay, let's have a look at our... Um, our wasp name. So we've already done that. Leper. 30% heals received. Sure. What else have we got? Let's sort by class restriction. Protection. Max HP. I mean, that seems pretty good for the thing at the front, although you're going to take a lot of stress. But you do have a self-de-stressor, so that's quite nice. It's going to reduce your damage, but not your accuracy, and you're already quite inaccurate. That's okay, I think. You. Yes. Can't have two of the same one, but that's fine. You have a good bleed, so I might give you that. Or this. That's minus one speed, that's minus four dodge. I'll try that out. You have already got a bad accuracy, so we'll try not to give you a worse one because of your rabies. You fucking dick. Uh, you probably need... What did we give you last time? Stun resist. Debuff resist. Plus ten dodge. Maybe? Below 50% is uh, quite likely to come about very quickly, I think. So, do you have a stun skill? I don't think you do. No. So, like none of these seems to be particularly interesting. Got no melee skills. You haven't really got a bleed to speak of. Do you have a bleed at all? No, no of course you don't. So there's no bleed. I guess we just, like, help you resist. You did get debuffed a lot in the last episode, actually, so maybe that... Uh, nice. 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 So you've already got a good bleed resist, so we'll give you the heal stone, which... Uh, no. The one that helps you heal other people, that one. Maybe a bit of protection? Maybe not. Maybe some stun resist would be worthwhile, because having a stunned healer is a bad thing. Minus four dodge, eh, it's okay. You've already got zero anyway, so it's not like it makes a difference. Uh, and a stun skill, we did bring a stun skill on Ash, so both of those things do apply. That's that's good. Let's do that. So, a healer, a DPS, another DPS, which work together pretty well, and a tank. And we are going for... I think we'll go for this Warren's one. Although there's a Cove one, we have a Cove Explorer. I can't be bothered doing a medium mission. Oh, in that case, we should think about upgrading at least Ash and possibly Dutch. But maybe not too much. Right, so Ash and Dutch are coming to the guild. Ash, we will upgrade you to have a better heal, for sure. The other two can stay around for now. I want to have enough money to provision well. Uh, no, we'll stay in here, thank you. And Dutch. We've already upgraded Sniper Shot, which is really good. Uh, this will improve the debuff and the chance of doing it. We only used that once, but we did use it. A better crit chance and a better chance of actually achieving it. Maybe. Suppressing Fire seems pretty good because it has a debuff associated with it and it does spread out some damage. And it hits the units at the back, which is... Not something we can always do. Right, shall I upgrade these two? I don't think I need to at this stage. And then let's send these to here as well. We'll get you that. And Ash, you can have both of these. Just to keep Ash a little bit more protected, because uh, they did take a lot of damage. On the previous run. So, we will provision. It's only a short mission, so we only need to take maybe... We've actually brought some medicinal herbs anyway. I keep wanting to say herbs because I've been watching Canadians play this game and you know what colonials are like. Uh, always take a couple of shovels because I'm scared. I've got a bandage. Uh, I guess we just take uh, eight torches. Twelve, eleven, sixteen, a couple of keys. Let's go. I'm not going to put too much effort into that because whatever I pick it's going to be wrong. Like, we took one too many shovels last time, but it was close, right? One too many when you took three. To prosecute right, we're doing 9% of rooms, so obviously. It's a very obvious pattern to take right here. 
Have you got everything that we want? I know. Are you all in the right place? Are you in the right place? No. That's better. Right, no traps, please. No traps, please. Okay, that's good. I mean, it's not a trap. It's not great, because it's combat. But they are surprised, and it's not a trap, so what are you going to do? I thought this was a move, but there's another one, I think, that's a move. Stunned, but not uh, surprised. Okay, let's start with that, sure. Oh, it's just a straight up punch in the face, I love it. Now you're stunned and you can take damage from the other thing. Right, in that case, we will stun something else and make sure none of them gets to go. Where is my stun? There. I genuinely thought that I'd fucked up and put the wrong uh, the wrong skills on, on old Ash there. Are you likely to die? Yes. Perfect. With impunity. impunity. Exactly. That's what we're here for. I mean... Sure. <laughs> Whatever. It's not like it was not moving at all or anything. It was obviously uh, skittering about like a motherfucker. Oh, no, wait. It was stunned. Dumbass. Not sure about this blight here. One damage, three rounds. Stun. What is this for? Fucking hell. Kill it. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Look. What is your damage? Five to ten. You could just straight up kill it. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't matter which one we use, I guess. Of course, it is like one fucking point less. So it's alive and can poison us again. You need blight resist now, apparently. Do you do any damage? Yeah. <laughs> I find a certain amount of mirth in the idea of using a talent for completely the wrong purposes. You are just going to suffer until you feel bad. There is nothing of value in the remains. An adventurer, perhaps. That said, did you see the blurb for that? It said, what remains of an adventurer, perhaps. There's three skulls in that thing. That wasn't an adventurer. That was, at worst, one of the many things that we could ourselves meet in these halls. Jesus Christ. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Well, we've used our only bandage. I've been really unlucky with traps today. This is the same day I recorded, of course, of course, uh, the previous episode in which we triggered every fucking trap under the sun. Let's use another torch. And can you please use from the smaller stack? Let's make the smaller stack the first stack. Ah, <laughs> genius. Aren't I clever? Well, we're doing okay on room combat, but we are, yeah. Come in a cropper of these. Oh, we surprised them again, though. So where have we been? Where we've been badly lucky on um, traps. We've been quite lucky on starting combat. So uh, that's probably not the best way of starting off combat, but whatever. All of these I want to kill first. So I want to get rid of the stressy one first because the amount of stress damage that uh, that Brian's already taken. So we'll aim at you. I hope this fucker can hit that guy. Didn't even think of that. Yep. You can't. <laughs> Alright, in that case we'll uh, do this. Don't don't resist. Good, didn't resist. I don't like that thing anyway, so I'm kind of glad we did that. Do we do this? Yes. It's a stress heal, which is very important, but the protection is going to be useful when this thing has a go on you. Okay. As, as I mentioned, it's very important that you are protected against your damage. Resisted that, which is good. We are marked, though. A marked healer is not my favourite healer. Now we can hit the shit out of you. So, note to self, hit the second one with that combination. Good, 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 good. Uh, a part of heal is fine, I think. One to three and three. So we haven't actually gained any benefit from this fucking thing, because... That's bad. Didn't move. Excellent. Is that what this is? Can't remember. Yep. <clears throat> I'm doing this thing where you mark and you beat the shit out of it. That's working well for me. Uh, can you stop killing that, please? You can chop you. 
Why did you go backwards? I don't want you to be there. I want you to be here. That's why I marked you. I don't like that. Jesus Christ. That is absolutely amazing. It's not. It's still not all your HP, but Christ, a 14 crit on that. All right, we'll shoot you. I would like to have some bleed things that kill these things, but okie dokie. I do. But at this stage, it's really not worth doing it. And I can't do it to that, obviously. Because that would be valuable, and it's not happening. In which case, I... Is that human? Yes. So we do do a bit more damage against that, but it's not an ideal situation. Because these things moved around without permission. You are doing far too much damage to her. Can you not? Of course, the corpse is at the front. We could knock back the corpse. I don't think it's worth doing. We could just chop this. Yeah, that was worth doing. Of course, leaving these corpses behind is not great. Hmm. Yeah. I was just thinking about the um, the mechanics of of Brian's uh, that particular attack, which clears all the corpses. It's great, except, look, it involves basically smacking the very first one. So it'll get rid of all the corpses, but I guess it does no damage. So in, it's entirely there just to get rid of all the corpses that are between Brian and the, the next target. But it's, it's kind of a, a whole turn used just to do that. We stop stressing out just because we're walking around. Man, it's been a very stressy mission. This is not good. You do not get to go first by any means. That's just it's a mark. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I want to put a bleed on you. Then you're going to mark it to buy a fat pig. <laughs> Sorry. You put a mark on that. No, 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 no. That's a bad, a bad attack. I don't want that attack. Stress me. Yeah. Goodness me, why are you all going first? Do we have such bad speed? We must do. Christ. <laughs> I haven't had a go. The only one go, it's not like I could have stunned any of them, you know? That's okay. Then you are going to... Do this. I kind of wanted you to go first. Let's send you to the back. You mark this. Wait, can you actually attack? Yes. So you mark this. This is kind of fine-tuned, because the only crossover between his mark and his mark attack... Yeah, he fucking moves back when he does that. That's bullshit, man. Nobody got time for that. Oh, you got scurvy. Of course you got scurvy, you land lover. Why do they all get to go first? This is bullshit. We're going to have to rethink this tactics before I completely lose it, because this is going to go wrong, wrong, wrong. You at the back, that, what is that? Quiet. Right. You can still act from the back, which is fine. I will heal you. You're the one that's bleeding. You see, this one can only mark the second and... And this one can only attack these two when marked. But that one moved when I marked it. So I'm going to have to avoid marking that one in future. Especially if I think it's going to do that thing which steps it back. I should have marked this one, but obviously I didn't know at the time. But we're learning, we're learning, we're learning. I would like to stun something, but I can't. I think mostly I want to stun something. And then you, if you would stop bleeding for five minutes, that would be brilliant. Like, I could debuff them, but I really feel like I should kill them. Because I've spread out the damage because I keep sending them to the back. Yeah, let's, let's try the debuff game. Oh, you fucking dodged it. You can't dodge a debuff, you. Yeah? It's not fucking cool. Now I want you to have a go, because he's in the right place. <gasps> right, we'll, uh, we'll mark this. I could have sniper shot at the other one, but I'm... I'm experimenting with the sequence of events here, so bear with me a little bit. Oh, that's really good, actually. 
vomit is okay as long as you don't get a disease. Okay, so you're moving back, but I expected you to, so I put the mark on you. So now, you die. Ball and Chain attacks the healer, but the healer crit themselves for a heal before and resisted the stun, which I am absolutely all for. And you crit that, right, so all of these uh, investments that we put down earlier are paying off. The only thing we really have to worry about is the stress damage that we're getting so far. But it is a short, uh, a short dungeon, so hopefully we'll be out of here before too long. What do we want to do here? Let's try and... can we kill that? We can. Are we likely to? Uh, no. Not even remotely. <laughs> Alright, if you combine the chance of hitting and the chance of hitting hard enough. Turns out, not remotely. Am I going to have to find out what you're going to flip out as straight away? Probably. 15% damage versus human. Which is that, but I can't hit that. Damage versus stunned, which would have been good to get on before, but... Well, you can't basically uppercut and hit for stun the same thing, which is annoying. I mean, we could bleed this and then try and smack it. I think we just attack this until it dies and goes away. <clears throat> which is now going to make everything worse by making you flip out. Yep. All fucking ready. Oh, thank God for that. We have been extremely lucky with this virtue chance. You've gone down to 40% stress. You de-stressed everybody else. That's just outrageously good luck. I can't really... Uh, I have no excuse for what just happened. I guess we just shoot you. It's a bit suboptimal, to be fair. Do you do any damage? Two to four. Like, the chance to hit this is just so bad. But when you do hit, it does a lot of damage, so I guess I can see the value of it. Uh, the only one I can hit is this, so I will. And you crit! Fucking outrageous. Perfect. Loving it. And you snorted. And I got a shovel. We will open this. I mean, I, I didn't want to take a key last time because we needed all the inventory space, but I wish I had. I, I kind of also wish I hadn't. The trap didn't actually negatively affect us, so it was okay. It turned out. Pardon? Thank you. I always misjudge this, because it's like over here is the period where you're in the square that contains a torch. What oh, a trap. And you dodged it. That's really good. My voice is going. This is going to have to be the last episode I record today. And hopefully I wake up tomorrow able to speak. Because uh, I'm going to need to. Uh, but yeah, it's good to get a couple of episodes in for Fuck's sake, traps everywhere. Mind that such missteps are the exception. You haven't got a bandage, so you're just going to have to deal with it, man. Soz. Yeah, it's good to get a couple of episodes in. I do enjoy the... Uh, just chill out. You're going to open this. Boring. Okay. The chances of it stressing them out meant that I was happy. This is a fucking stress symbol right here. And there's one on the torch. It's everywhere. It's um, it's out to get me, I'm sure of it. Let's not linger. Nothing of value. I do enjoy playing The Darkest Dungeon, and I enjoy recording it, and I'm very gratified that so many people uh, are actually enjoying the series. It's um, quite astounding to me. Because all I'm doing is just recording myself play a game, right? It's not like... Um, putting a huge amount of effort into this. I don't really want to pull back the veil too much on how the magic of uh, Hollywood is working over here. But this is a horrible fight. Right, let's work this out. If I get a go, I'd like the opportunity to work out what's going to happen, because you're going to flip out in a fucking minute as well. Right. These things move back when they do a hook and slice. You will target the second one, or any of these. So I will probably put a mark on one of these, assuming that these things will go backwards when they hook and slice, provided I get the opportunity to do so before that happens. Until then, I'm going to uppercut this one. Missed. Bad times. Let's uh, heal the shit out of Vague, because Vague has hurt like hell. Hook where it hurts. Moves you backwards, yeah. 
where it hurts, moves you backwards. Well, I think we should um, end torch slightly. Because it will reduce the amount of stress damage we take from these sons of the bitches. Let's see. We could knock back this and start again. <laughs> Put everything back in the same position. We could reduce the accuracy on these, which I think is worthwhile because they both hurt in different ways. And you didn't dodge it this time, but you resisted the debuff, which is pretty bad. You're going to move. You're going to move. So I'll put a mark on this. Because it's got a high chance of ending up in the second position. On the next round. You get a go. That's good. I'll keep focusing the healing on Vague until... Well, now, basically. Not a fan of that. Ten stress is okay. You're going to move backwards. Yeah, it's just a damage attack, which is fine. You're going to take a lot of stress. Everyone here is going to have to go into the... The transept or something. You are in the right position for once. I will do 90% damage versus marked. And a crit, which is going to get rid of a bit of your stress. Not too much, actually. Four is some. Uh, not a lot. I mean, I could just chop this. That worked. I'm a fan of that. Right, so you're... Ah, it depends which one goes first. Just to which one I... Attack, right? So I'll just shoot one, I guess. That was really good. I'm a fan of that. Right. As long as you don't get to go first, I'm okay. Let's party heal. Everyone's a little bit racist. Um, can I finish this? Maybe? No. I can't without a crit. But I don't really want to put a bleed on it. I think I will, though. If I put a bleed on it, it does one damage to it, but it's going to give it three damage at the start of the next round. And, in fact, the next time it gets a go. What are you saying here? Ooh. Oh, I like that. You're buffing people because you're... That's a really good... I'm, <laughs> I'm absolutely down with that. You can do that as much as you like. Right. Uh, stress heal plus nine. I'm prompt. Just in case this thing decides to attack you, maybe you're the only one you can reach. It's not, but that's okay. And you dodged, which is really good. Which we have a... Not a bonus to, so that's okay. So the reason I put that bleed on was to make sure that that thing was in killing range. Because I knew that it wasn't in killing range by him. Like, it could have ended up... Just take it. Just go with it. I know I could have hit it for seven and then it would have been one, but... Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must There's probably a very good reason why I did it. And I'll go back and sort of post hoc figure out what that reason was. We have now done 90% of rooms. We may as well... Do the last room. Why the hell not, right? We may get some stuff. Records of dull transactions. We may get a trap. Bleed. Cruel yes. Spring to life. It's fine. With a singular purpose. Uh, apparently R reduces the torch, so don't press R instead of T. It's not like they are literally right next to each other. There's nothing here. That's okay. We will go home. Victorious. I did need one of my spades, so I always seem to take one more shovel than I actually need, but I'm okay with it. Oh no, I took two. I thought I used one. Oh, I picked one up, didn't I? I think I won one back. Anyway. The heirlooms are what's important. Look at all these crests. We've got a couple more busts. And... Leveled up. Perfect. We've got two, three level uppers. Dutch is now level two. Well done. Natural swing is great. Especially since you have shit accuracy on all your things anyway. Uh, I have no idea what that means, but it sounds like bullshit. Everyone has got a disease except for Ashley, which is actually quite surprising to me. Snowland meditated, decline is returned. Hopefully not with a fucking horrendous hangover. Let's get people cured up. We've got 10k, which is a bit less than we left with, but we did upgrade people, don't forget, so that's okay. Ah, we should see if we can upgrade this. This is stress recovery. I'm not really using it. It's very expensive. You. Okay, no. Everyone got 
really beaten down in that um, in that fight in terms of stress. And we need to think about getting rid of their diseases as well. But not right now. Yeah, let's do that. And then Brian can go to the bar as well. Because that's nice and cheap. That costs us a fair amount, but it is what it is. Maybe we'll think about doing a dark run with our original set of, you know, misfits. I don't know, I would really very much like an occultist if that's going to happen. Jesus Christ, what is going on? <laughs> Another abomination. Another hellion. We could do a hellion suicide run. I guess I don't really want any of these. What have you got? Dirk Stab. Forward one. Slight crit mod. Fangophobia. Oh god, don't like that. Ooh, that's perfect for a dark run, isn't it? Uh, harvest. Fine. Yep. Yeah. Uh, don't like this. Maybe? You are good in the third position. Alright, it didn't cost me anything to take you except for a spot. So we've got two jesters now. Donge. We'll have to come up with some names for these new people because I've now got more um, more adventurers than I have friends. Let's have a look at you. Oh, of course you've got everything because you're one of them. We could hack Iron Swan. The Yowp. Adrenaline Rush. Cure, Blight, Bleed and Heal a Health Point. That's pretty good. And it gives you a buff. It's going to be helpful because in a dark run. Right, so you you could be the... F what have you got? That causes a bleed on the thing in front of you. That also bleeds. Honestly, I hate to say it, uh, Doug, but this <laughs> this Hellion's better than you. Right, that's our full roster. Now, a dark run has more... Um, rewards, which is why you would do it. Now the runes is only level one, and we've got a short apprentice mission. So what I'm thinking, you go, is we take our new Hellion, our new Jester. What did you like to be third position? Yeah. And then like Viz as a just a DPS of course. Viz's transformation causes stress. And a dark run is a stress run. I can take Holmesy. But you got um Ooh, that's good. Didn't you get something bad? Oh yeah, that That's okay. But that might cause you to pick stuff up that I don't want you to pick up. You are good in the second position, so if Holmesy goes here. We haven't got a Ruins Phobe, have we? Dachnomania, obsessed with killing. Ah, that's okay. No, not many beasts in the Ruins. Mostly humans, Eldritch. Oh, that's good. That's very good for a Dark Run. Yeah, we've got a Wield Adventurer, which isn't really what we want, but Warren's Phobe is not going to be affected by the Ruins. And then we have... Yeah, that's really good. That's okay. And then one more, so we'll take a healer. Who should we take? Does anybody except for D and uh, Ash have <laughs> COVID Explorer, fast healer? Warren Scrounger, we're not going to the Warrens. Code Phobe is fine. That's fine. You can't have a scouting chance and also stress damage. It's no fun. Eldritch does exist. Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's take D. So this is going to be our uh, our lineup for a dark run to the ruins. So uh, I hope you're ready for that. If you like this episode, please remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you for a dark, dark adventure in a dark, dark dungeon.